And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac des Pass. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Milan. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays alongside Lucas Hernandez in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. And the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Ismail Benasser plays alongside Radic Krunic in central midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. And they kick off here. And intercepted it. Radek Krunic. Well timed tackle. Marco Asensio. Mbappe in the centre. A decisive clearance it was. Giroud. PSG doing well to regain possession. It's a promising Milan move. goalkeeper's ball well you can sense the relief amongst his teammates but what a first save that was Vitor Ferreira and acres of space for PSG out wide Mbappe chance to put them in front he succeeds in clearing it Well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Playing it in, and taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Teo Hernandez. Effective piece of pressing. 
Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Streets. He landed really awkwardly on his shoulder there and he's in some discomfort. He's a tough cookie. I think he'll stay out there. Cheers, Jeff. Mbappe. A very effective challenge put in. Benasser has the strength to hang on to it. Well, PSG could get in behind the defence. Kangin Lee. Can they forge ahead? Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvellous defending. Verratti, and the advantage is with PSG. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? Oh, they have it again. Rade Krunic. And the ball back with Milan now. Now options are plenty. Rade Krunic. Oh, he's through here. Oh, but denied. Full credit to the keeper. Well, of course he should score, but what a save that is. Over it comes. Well, not the best clearance. Still looking for space. Good pressure to win the ball back. They could nudge in front. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. The corner kicks keep on coming. Well, far from the ideal header, and the goalkeeper had it all the way. Nuremenj. Really committed himself to the tackle, and a throw-in now. Well, Milan very much dictating the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. And pushed away to safety. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a... So here we go, the start of the second half at the home of PSG, the Pat de Prince. Clean challenge. In with a chance. Can he finish? And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. 1-0 then. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Well, they've given him too much space. Oh, surely! And he clears the danger. 
and he read it well defensively Kangin Lee oh what an opportunity oh it's gone in for PSG as they extend their advantage to two goals well here we can see it again and he does so well to skip beyond the defender he just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away that's a really nice goal Underway with the lead standing at 2 0. And he's through here. Can they stop it going in? Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Well, that would have made it interesting, but the keeper has done brilliantly there. Going well. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Now perhaps they can counter from here. Risky play. Rade Krunic. Given away by the Rossoneri. Rade Krunic and the referee is quite rightly letting it go he's in with a chance oh he stopped it well, I I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. And the keeper there to deal with it. Corner once more. Trying to pick out a teammate. And he read it superbly. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available. And the cross not quite accurate enough. 20 minutes to go. Hakimi. How about the cross? But he can't keep that effort on target. And a goal kick it'll be. Verratti. Kangin Lee. Marco Asensio's in the thick of things. Oh, it's a penalty. Just what they wanted to avoid, given the scoreline. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. Can they make it 3-0? He's missed the target! Well, he didn't want the keeper saving it, and in the end, he didn't have to. He's put it wide. Pulisic. Milan showing good width. And they could get one back here. Oh, good save. 
Ferrati. Mbappe. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. I think they were expecting a bit more from that attack. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Will they profit from this situation? Oh, that's a fine save. And just five minutes remaining. Milan recovering possession well. Well, not straightforward, but that was a chance to give themselves life. And it was close, but if they're going to get back into this, they need to score from those sort of chances. Marco Asensio. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Ben Asser. Chukweze. Now Giroud. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. And the goalkeeper not offering any scraps that time. That's a lovely ball. So full time it is and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. Well, choose your descriptive word where Kylian Mbappe is concerned. Explosive is one adjective you could use, Stuart. Yeah, he played well, scored a good goal and linked up the play. But he'll be disappointed he didn't score from the spot. In the end, though, it doesn't really matter. 